So what I told you was true from a certain point of view. If you've watched any of our other shows, you know, the, there's the Holocron show, which is more factually based. We've also got our, 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 our collector show over there with the toys. This one has a little bit more to do with theory crafting and kind of the rumor mills. It's kind of a little bit more fun. We go off topic. We'll cover some certain things if you haven't heard one of these ones before, but it's pretty much just like where we think it's going and everything else. A little bit of fun. Uh, we do ask you guys to participate by sending us in, in questions and like that. Uh, today, I got uh, you know a, a regular that you see on almost all the other shows. Really great with all the toys. He's got all the stuff. We got Mike, as, and, and also we got Solo Loki here. Take care of these two. Um, so what we did for this one, just to start it off, is we went out there and we asked some of our friends and some of the people that we know to send in a couple questions, try to ask us what we want to explain and maybe how we saw it. And I know, Wookie, you were digging through those and you pulled one out for us, so... Wookie, if you could go ahead and give it to us, let's let's see what we got. What's the topic? I did. This is uh, this is a great one. Uh, very relatable to a lot of stuff that's actually come up recently, um, which is part of the reason that we picked it out um, from the only Greek in West Virginia. Um, great title, <laughs> man. Great title. It says, um, "Hey guys, I thought Task Force Ninety Nine, also known as Special Commando Advanced Recon." or shortly as SCAR. But basically, they are an elite Imperial Stormtrooper squad that were clones. The first appearance of Task Force 99 is Star Wars 19. Can I get some clarity? Are these guys the comic book iteration of the Bad Batch? If not, what's the difference? Also, what books and arcs are must-haves for their story? Any explanation and help would be greatly appreciated. Great question. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It, wow, that's a lot to unload. Um, first off, so I think it's two parts because they're. Two, I think he's thinking they're kind of two of the same things, and they're not. I mean, they are, but they aren't. So, like, first off, we'll start with Task Force Ninety Nine. So, Task Force Ninety Nine is actually not clones. They're Imperial troopers. Um, Yep, that's them. They are Imperial Troopers. Where, if you look at uh, the next one, it is uh, the Bad Batch, which is, yep, there you go, the Bad Batch. Very similar. They have similar type units, uh, stuff like that, but they are not the exact same things. These are actual clones, where uh, the Bad Batch isn't. The Bad Batch uh, was made way before Task Force 99. And Task Force 99 was written into the original Star Wars when comic books when they started redoing it. So the 2015, what's cool about those ones is this. Um, for you comic book fans, I, I know people like this writer. So it's Jason Aaron's, he, or Jason Aaron. He did the, um, he did that series. For most of it, Gillian did some stuff in the back end. The Gillian stuff, I hate to knock it. It's not for me. It's for, sorry for everybody, that part is not for me. The Gillian stuff in the back end is not as, as enjoyable. Uh, I do like the stuff that Aaron did. I'm yeah. not so, you know, Aaron's the guy that did, uh, Thor, God of Thunder, stuff like that, um, which I thought Thor, God of Thunder was fine, but I'm actually I actually like this rendition of Star Wars a little bit better. It's some cool stuff. It's it kind of takes place after um, after New Hope, and it, it show and it shows some stuff. And actually, the cool thing about Task Force ninety nine, and I'll get into some books that you might want to pick up on it. I think it kind of starts at around nine or ten. Ten, if uh, there's a there's a guy in ten called Krill. Krell, K R E E L, Krell, Krell, Krell. 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 Mm -hmm. yep. He was also known as the Game Master. Uh, there's a, a famous little picture of him fighting uh, Luke Skywalker. Like they get in a bunch of fights back and forth. He's uh, he's very interesting. He used to be a slave in the game pits, and then eventually, when the Empire came through, they freed him, and then he became a secret agent for Darth Vader. He's part of now, the. Now, so is is this Star Wars nineteen, or is this because? No, no, no. So this is before this Star Wars is before 19, 19 right? So this Aaron, is Aaron actually uh, like uh, issue well, 10, I think, right? 10? 10? Issue 10? 10? 11, 12? Okay. okay. Somewhere yeah, there. It's yeah. 10. So yes. there's like a little bit. They mention it. I, th I think they mentioned him in 9. 10, he shows up. He is not a, he's not in Stormtrooper outfit here yet. You, you can read this arc. Then he's in 11. And then after that, they take a break from him. So like 9, 10, and 11, maybe 12, 2. I think he does get into 12 because this is what was cool about that little arc right there. That little arc they bring in uh Grecus the Hut, who is Luke Skywalker's like going around and he gets knocked down on this on this part of a planet and Grecus the Hunt is there, which is a hut, obviously. 
who runs a who runs a um, pretty much a pit fighting area. Um, and he actually it, he knocks him out. He knocks out Luke Skywalker. He punches Luke Skywalker, knocks him out. So um, and then, so he runs him into this guy called the Game Master, who it turns out to be Krell, who turns out to be an undercover agent for Darth Vader. But the cool part about it is Grekus has got this room of Jedi artifacts. And it's got a ton, apparently, of lightsabers. Like, he's just stealing lightsabers. So Krill, Krell, when he tries, he starts training Luke. And this is how Luke got, because, like, how do you get good to Cloud City to actually even fight Darth Vader, whatever, whatever. It gets into the backstory of how that happened, because he starts training him how to actually fight. Not just fight like a Jedi, but actually fight, fight. So it gets into that. You join Fett Club. Yeah, (laughs) right. You join Fett Club. (laughs) (laughs) He should have joined Fett Club instead of Krell. So Krell gets in there. They, they, he's he's uh, he's kind of he actually almost looks like Taskmaster, believe it or not. He's got like the hooded white cape thing going on. His face is all mm-hmm. jacked up because, like I said, he used to be a he used to be a slave. He used to be in the pit fights. He's part of the five hundred first. Where the Bad Batch, they're not part of the five hundred first. Really, they're they're not you know Vader's clones. This guy was so he's part of the five hundred first. After he gets there, he calls in and says like, "I got this dude. He's a Jedi. Grekus is going to kill him." Y'all might want to come down here and do something. It goes on. Obviously, Luke Skywalker doesn't die. We know that part. But if you want to get the full story on that, if you want to see some cool stuff, and by the way, in that, in those books, in one of them, it might be 10, it might be 12, they go into the Jedi area. Why I bring up the Grekus thing is because they go in there and all these holocrons unlock, and a bunch of them are Jedi, um, are old Jedi masters. So just so you know, and I think they name themselves in it. Real cool books. Go read that segment of it. And that probably would be his his first would probably be 10, I think, in that, right? Mm-hmm. But it's a good arc to go through to read that. Then you don't see him for a little bit because they do the normal Star Wars thing where they're telling like 15 tales of Star Wars and Han Solo and Chewie and all that stuff. Because isn't there – there's a – yeah, there is. There's a good um, – in that run, there's a good – for you, uh, Wookiee, there's a good uh, – Dungar Chewbacca fight. There's a really good <laughs> where then Han Solo ends up shooting Dungar in the back, I think. Yeah, something like that. Yep. So that but that gets further down. So that actually gets tangled up then later. So once you start getting into 1920 and all those, um, you get you get into 19, and 19, there's a picture that shows up in 19, and it's not actually all of uh of Task Force 99. It's actually only three members. It is Krell. Misty, who is Sniper, and I think Kev. Okay, so then you you get these three guys that show up. 19, it's a, it's a great panel. We'll have that picture up here for you. And uh, it's like the end panel. They don't really name them, but that's in 19. The rest of 19, I know there's been some misconceptions of the front page and all. There's another side story in 19 because they go to a prison pretty much, and uh, there's a there's a guy who's, who used to be a rebel who's trying to warn Leia about some stuff, and he's doing it in a really weird way. He's kind of lost his thing. That's the guy on the cover. There aren't. There's no. There's no Task Force 99 on the cover. It actually is a, a completely different character that has some other stuff to do the, down the line. But the Task Force 99. So three characters of that show up. Krill does finally in his stormtrooper outfit. And uh, that's these original right yeah, here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So then, and if you go to uh, the third picture that I gave you. And you, then now, now real quick. Now there's seven of them. Yeah, so that so um, is this that shows all seven in nineteen that show up. No. And this seven would be um Arrow, uh Mick, yep. Sharp, yep. Cav, Misty, and Zook. Correct? Yeah, so yeah, that's right. So Cav okay. and so Cav, Misty, Cav, Misty, and Creole show up in, in nineteen. That's it. And they don't name themselves. In twenty uh, one, 21, you get all of them. That, that last picture you just showed shows that where the whole okay. team's out there, they get named and they have more to do than, and they pretty much are then going after certain things. They're taking down this whole prison thing and everything else. You can read that for those books. Uh, you pretty much want to go 1921, 23 through 26, pretty much. We'll give you this whole storyline of what happens there. After that, there's some other stuff in that whole Star Wars run. Uh, like I said, it gets to Gillian stuff, which I'm like, eh. That's okay. 59 through 61 is kind of there. I don't know. If you want to keep going on with the storyline, you can. They pretty much are just chasing around Rebels at that point. 
Um, because mm-hmm. they they were they were kind of made and and hired uh, to be the elite hunting force for right. the rebel group that they were having. Every time a, a big rebel insurgents would um, sp- spur up, or they knew where they were at, they'd send the the troops in to go find them. Because yeah, it was kind of like a special each, thing. Each one has a specialty of something, you know, a, a sniper, a, a fighter, a blah, blah, blah. But out of the seven, each one really excelled in one manner of of warfare or combat. And that's how this group got pulled together. Yeah, so so just like Bad Batch, each person had a specialty. And this is where the similarities go. So, like, uh, Mick had, like, he was the slicer. He was the tech guy. You had Arrow, who was the engineer. You had Sharp, who was like the demo guy. He used bombs and fires. Mm-hmm. And then I think Zek was like the big, whatever, beat you up type guy, whatever, like that. Mm-hmm. The, uh, the Misty was a sniper. Yeah, Misty was a sniper. And Cav was kind of like the ninja hand to hand guy type mm-hmm. character. Okay. Um, so then you had all those. It was fine. In the in the, in the later issues in the Gillian run, there is like a there's like a Western type showdown where like Han Solo shoots somebody and then like. I think they like they they like have a, a, a square off between Skywalker. It's fine if you want to get that art. Go ahead. The better book is somewhere around the time they came out with the book for the movie uh, The Last Jedi is the crate book. You know the planet, the red planet with all the stuff. And on there they do a little thing where it's kind of cool. Luke Skywalker not only ends up beating Krill in hand to hand combat with the lightsaber, but then like the rest of the rebels that are on crate end up beating up the whole squad and sending them on their way. And then that's a, this? that was so no, that's ta- so that right there is that's Taskmaster. That's when he's training him or the game master. That's when he's training him. That's early on. That's probably oh, 10. okay. Okay. That's probably 10. So that's an early on picture of that. So, so that's what happened with them right now. We're to, to, to defer for that. So they've asked Aaron about this before and why it's important is because, Brett Friedman had originally come up with a bunch of other stuff for Clone Wars. Um, they were kind of their storylines. Some of them have now come out because in Clone Wars Seven they did a couple, redid them. But originally they were released at celebrations. Mike, you know about this, and they were like um, Star Fox. They, they, that was like the type of thing they did. Like remember uh, like Star Fox, like animatics. That's what it was, animatics. Yeah. So they had done these animatic storylines. Uh, there's a bunch of them. Um, the Bad Batch had two portions. Okay, in the wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Animatics. Can you break that down for us a little bit? Give us a little breakdown, please, Mike, on animatics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. So it's it's a pre-visualization of a scene without going into the full production money. Um, you don't have to completely um, visualize everything out in full detail with, uh, you know, fully rendered. In this case, it's more like a moving storyboard um, done in a computer where you get the general idea of the image. It used to be done with storyboards uh, or hand-drawn sketches. Now they do it with computers and it looks very, like you said, like Firefox kind of graphics, like early, early computer CG. Yeah, like Nintendo 64 type stuff. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. Characters will flow. They'll, they'll, it's, you know, you get all that Minecrafty backgroundy stuff type thing. Exactly. It's a little blotchy. Things don't okay. move all that smoothly, yep. but it gives the viewer an idea of who the characters are, which ways they'll move, their dialogue, uh, usually in some sort of a rudimentary way. It's usually not ADR. It's not full-on recording. It's just it may even be like Dave Filoni voicing a character that he would normally voice um, just to get an idea across to the producers to say, this is what we think this should look like. What do we want to change before we send it to full rendering and spend all the money to really make it look good. Um, awesome. Awesome. And this is done Thank for you. most, it's done for most movies now, um, but especially for animation. And so they released some of these uh, and like some of it's rough. Like if you can, ever, you can probably track them down someplace. I mean, the internet, yeah. it is what it is. So, um, but like they had released them on star Wars that for a bit, but they also had shown some at the celebrations. Yep. Um, That's where I saw them. And that was the Florida one. And I think they showed some in 15 in Anaheim too, but th- this, so there was two storylines for um, Bad Batch in, in that animatronics. Is that what you're calling? I can't remember what you said. Uh, anima- animatics. Animatics. Okay. So in the animatics, there was two of them. The one we already saw because it was a storyline that they did in the last season of the Clone Wars. But there is another storyline there, and it's kind of cool. And that storyline has to deal with uh, Kashiki, uh, where the Wookiees are from. And if you remember in uh, – Kashyyyk. When, or Kashyyyk, yeah. 
Why well, I say Kashiki? Yeah, Kashik. Where the ones are from? <laughs> yeah. So, where, uh, if you remember in uh, in in the last of the three original trilogies, Yoda gets put on the back of a Wookiee, Chewbacca, blah blah blah. They start running off. the The one that they had, the one that I saw um, in Anaheim, I think, or was maybe it was in Florida. Either way, there's one that they have where it's the Wookies run into the Bad Batch, and they're riding these like cat yep. type. If you ever saw the Quizno, the old Quizno sub commercials where the guys are like, yeah, it's my son, the little squeaky. It looks like something like that combined with a cat. And then they're fighting the web shooting guys. And like, it's messed up. I'm t- yeah. It's hard to explain because it's it, hard it to. Is. Yeah, it's just if you watch it, it's hard to, to explain. Not to get saw. down, not to get down the rabbit hole, but that's the same time where Filoni showed the fight between Boba Fett and Cad Bane, which is where something famous comes from. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. It is. Go ahead. It's, it's so yeah. Okay, so uh, let's finish up Bad Batch and then we'll get into sorry. Of it. Yeah, sorry, no. sorry. So we so what we're thinking here is that this is and we know that they've used this material before. So uh, some of the other stuff that came out of there, besides what you just talked about, which is really cool, we'll get back to it, is that they already used the Bad Batch stuff once. There's actually Ahsoka plot lines that they used. Um, originally, it was how they did the sister thing when she was on level thirteen, thirteen. Originally, I think it was 1919 she was supposed to be on, because isn't 1919 the Lucas one? Either way, it was Brothers, but it was pretty much the exact same storyline. And then they used that storyline in the Soka book. Um, yep. So we know that they're using this cross. We already know that they, they've already pulled out the one Bad Batch one. We know that they've done a bunch of the Ahsoka stuff. We know that Dark Disciples was one of the things that came out of there. The Dark Disciples, which is, uh, and we'll get into that deeper sometime, maybe in one of these, if you guys want to hear about, tell us. But it's a, a Ventress and a uh, Voss storyline. Mm-hmm. Really cool. That came out in, in a novel. So, quick, quick question. Um, with the new announcement of them doing a new animated series, do you think we'll see Ahsoka hit that new Bad Batch series? Because that was the tie-in you were just referencing. I, I think like, just just I, a thought. I think you might get sort of cameo-ish stuff, kind of like yeah. Poe Dam- like Poe Dameron was in Resistance. Yeah, sure. like maybe once every five or ten episodes, you might get her to pop in for a minute or two. But I don't think she'll be the focus. I think really they're going to pull in. I think they're going to put a, pull an Echo more and and like have him really be a part of it. I think that yep. was the plan originally. So yeah. the, so the problem with it is is like that script. So the other bad bad script was pretty much done, and they had it was a little bit more further developed. They had already done all the shooting, the anima. Once again, I'm going to screw that word up. Animatics, animatronics. For everyone that thinks animatronics are the things that make masks move. Yeah. Uh, okay. The Good. little remote controls. That's so anim- animatronics is that. So they, animatics is the storyboard thing. So they the, did, an- the so they an- did this- animaniacs. Yeah, go yeah, so and <laughs> the animaniacs. Are exactly. Are the animaniacs. So they already did the whole animaniacs thing for the Bad Batch. So they're what the one that they already showed. So that one was already done. This one about Kashyyyk was not completely finished. It was very rough cut. Um, and they hadn't pushed it through. So is there going to be, is there going to be, um, cameos of Ahsoka? It's it's a thing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I mean, there is. They'd be dumb. They'd be dumb not to use her somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, That's what I was going to say. It'd be really dumb with as big as she's going right now with as big of, of her, you know, showing up in the, in Mando. Um, it'd be a, a real swing and a miss if, if they didn't, you know, show her at least a couple times within that yeah, story arc. But you have to remember, so like when I when I brought up Ahsoka before, it's the there it was like how Clone Wars was shot where there was little arcs, like two or three episode arcs on everything. Mm-hmm. So her arc actually didn't cross over into the Bad Batch arc. Um obviously and I don't I I don't think the cat the 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 Wookiee portion was saving Yoda because that's what happened. Like they save Yoda and get him off. Mm-hmm. I'm not quite sure that part is gonna actually play out to where Ahsoka could be, you might be able to write something in there. But then again, you know, uh, and we'll talk about it on a different one because I know this question's come up about the world in between. And we'll do a little theory crafting on what could happen there. Sure. But you never know what the world in between. That's all I'm going to say. Whenever I talk about Ahsoka, I'm always just going to say world in between and then that's the yeah. end of that because you can do whatever you want. To so, get back to the question that that was posed to us by the fan, though, I think there's some, there's some talk right now on the internet, I guess, that – there's a connection like after order 66, what happens to, to clone force 99 or scar unit? Do they somehow become the bad batch? No. So they can't. So like, um, so they, 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 so the clones, 
clones do age. We know that. We don't know at what age they get. We do know that supposedly from canon, there's really um, at the point where um, at the point which would be zero one after Yevon, somewhere between zero and one after Yevon, there's probably only like three clones, four clones around. There's not a lot of them. There's one that's uh, in like a suspended animation. Uh, yep. You know, you've got uh, what's his name? So the most famous one, I'm, Rex. Rex. You yep. got Rex going on. You got Wolf and uh, is it Wolf? Echo. Echo. Yeah. Echo. The, Rex. Well, Echo, five. Rex wouldn't be. No, no, no. It'd be the only ones. It'd only be the ones that show up in Rebels. So the three that show up in Rebels, the animated yeah. one. Darth Vader kills one in about zero, and then that would be it. So, like, there's not a lot of clones left at that point. We don't know what happened to them, but no, they are two separate things because Task Force 99 and Clone Force 99, that's where it messes up because people start calling Clone Force 99. Clone Force 99 are clones. Task Force 99 are Imperial Troopers. Uh, one's a female. They're like, how that happened was they started, they got away from making, well, they took it out of canon, but like it's not canon anymore. Originally in the legends, what happened was the guys who were cloning the clones were like, Oh crud, the emperor's taking over cloning. We better do something. And they started making clones follow them instead of the command. The, 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 Kami the Kaminoans. Yeah. yeah the the Kaminoans. Kaminoans or Kaminoans. So then, however you say that. Yeah. So then the empire went in there and then it just became a mess and they kind of took it over and made very sh short shelf lives on them and everything else. And finally started, realizing that they could influence human beings more than they could with the clones. So they went with the human being army. So with that being said, task force 99 is a human being army. It's led by a, a former slave of the pits that Keel. ended up. Yeah. Keel. That was part of the 501st that ended mm -hmm. up going and recruiting other members of the 501st that were specialty members and taking that on finishing off a squad. That is not the only thing that it is, is that, Aaron saw this stuff back in 2015 when it came out in Anaheim and was like, oh, cool. I want to incorporate that somehow into the books. What if I came up with like a realistic team that was similar? And it does have a lot of similarities, uh, mind you. It has a lot of similarities to it, but it is not the exact same thing. So no, that they, they, they're not going to – I mean, I'm not going to say never because of Star Wars and, I mean, Jar Jar Binks keeps showing up and stuff. Uh, so – it could happen, but like right now, no, that's not that's not a possibility because one's a clone and one's an actual thing. But if we get back, if we get back to the point about after where we talked about what was what other happened in Anaheim and everything else, the one cool part that you brought up too. So there, it wasn't just the Bad Batch, and this is like stuff that might come down the line too. What I think is going to happen about Bad Batch is they're going to do a little bit of storyline. They're going to feed in some of these stories where they show what happened to Yoda because it really has never the old stuff with what happened with Yoda, the the Sith planet. Dagobah being Sith planet and whatever and all that stuff kind of they never really showed how he escaped right and everything else I think they're gonna get into that which is gonna be really cool I think fans will like that and of course they'll do a little bit more fan service yeah they'll put some Ahsoka there but Echo had a lot of like there there's always been a lot of fan service towards that character I mean they they've said that they want to do more on him so I think they're gonna incorporate that a little bit more there you got to figure out maybe they're gonna explain how certain characters that happened in seven got out of prison because, like, Watto's out of prison somehow. Like, I don't know how that happened, but he's out of prison. So, like, yeah. whatever. I mean, they're going to have to explain a couple things. So I think they're going to go through and do that type of stuff. Like, have a couple people that they have to explain how to do. But what also comes out of that stuff, and, and why I bring it up is cool, is that you see this pattern of guys writing comic books, adapting certain characters, or, like, crossing through novels with stuff of the stuff that already had been printed. So let's go over some of the other stuff now, because this opens up. Hey, where's our rabbit? Because this opens up a rabbit hole of stuff that actually came out of that. <laughs> and one of the things that I think Mike was referencing earlier is there's a scene in some of those Animaniac things. In some of those uh, that uh, animatics, that, animatics, uh, animatics. In some of those animatics, there's one scene where like um, Cad Bane and, and and Bubba go out into the desert, uh, so Bubba can be captured by uh, sand people. Yeah, uh, yeah. Not uh, not quite a good storyline, but whatever. Um, and then it cuts to a scene where it's got Embro. Embro's the uh, bounty hunter who has the, the wolf em dog. Embo, Embo, yeah, with the big hat. Big hat, yeah. So that's that guy. Uh, and it has got Bosk in it, too. And it's got Bubba and, uh, and Cad Bane. And Cad Bane's pretty much talking down 
Bubba. And Bubba tried to form a alliance with the other two to take down Cad Bane. And they got into the showdown at the Midwest. And and we know that they love doing what samurai stuff and they love doing Western stuff. So I have no doubt that like there's gotta be a I mean, people have been screaming for Cad Bane's a pretty popular character. They want to know what happened to Cad Bane. And in that anima, animatronic animatic. Animatic, animatic. That animatic, they show what happened to Cad Bane. But they also show one other part that actually has been uh put into canon. So that part isn't in canon, but the part that is in canon, and if anybody's got a Boba Fett helmet, you can look at your Boba Fett helmet and it'll show you is there's a dent in the left side. Do you have one real quickly? Yep, go grab it. Yeah, yeah. There's a go ahead and grab it so so the people can see this. And this is kind of cool because we were laughing at this earlier, Mike, right? And yep. it's kind of going at it. <laughs> Prior, prior to the show, we were laughing yeah, about Yeah, prior to the show, we were laughing because he showed up. Yeah, this. So there's that dent. That dent technically is in, in all the helmets, and that dent came from Cad Bane. Yep. That dent came yep. from Cad Bane. So Pew-pew. I would assume that Cad Bane's going to show up. I don't know how he's going to show up. I don't think he's going to show up in this. I think they're going to do a Bounty Hunter special, but I think... Put it on, Wookie. Put it on. I think they're going to do that because they're going to explain where that where that, uh, where that that mark came from, and that's where it came from. Also, besides yep. that, uh, which was kind of just a cool thing. Besides that, like I said again, they had the Dark Disciples thing, which is great because I think they're gonna they're gonna do that. But you see a lot of that stuff coming through, so that's where it is. The bottom line is the Bad Batch is not Task Force ninety nine. Task Force ninety nine is not the Bad Batch or or you know the Clone Force ninety nine. I think that's where it's screwing people up is when they they hear Clone Force ninety nine and Task Force ninety nine. It's two completely things. It's almost like a homage to Task Force 99 is like an homage to the Bad Batch. It pretty much is the writer for the comic book saw 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 the videos in uh, Anaheim and in Florida and was like, those guys are cool. Are you doing anything with those guys? And they're like, yeah, you can't have those guys. And he's like, can I write something that's like similar maybe? And they're like, yeah, sure. You can write something similar. <laughs> and that's then, the way that stuff usually works. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's how it works across it. They're like, you can do this or you can't do this. And, and, and then and that's what he did. So, is there a future for Task Force 99? Sure, because they're not dead. I mean, they got their butts kicked, but they're not dead uh, by any mean. And could this turn into something for Task Force 99? Sure, because eventually those clones have to die. Like, eventually the Echo storyline has to end. And we have seen with what they've done with some other characters that they don't have a problem ending storylines and starting another storyline. I mean, yeah. so so I hope that cleared it up a little bit. Uh, if it didn't, uh, just tell us we made it even muddier. But the two aren't related. <laughs> We gave you a couple books to read up on the one. There aren't any books to read up on Bad Batch. Um, there's one video out there, like we said, or it's not even a video. I don't think it's like storyboards. You can figure out what's going to happen with the with the other portion of that there, um, and it should be all new content, which is kind of good. I would assume that eventually they, you know, if these things hit, you know, there. I've seen some. Um, I think we all probably have because we are. You know, we search for weird stuff, and we're on Star Wars chat boards and everything else. But there's a there's there's what? a guy out no. there's a guy out there nerd. There's a guy out there who, as soon as the Bad Batch had come out, he must have had it ready. Had already made like uh 3D action figures out. You know, like a 3D printed action figures out nice. of a lot of them and stuff yeah. like that. It's, so I I assume the storyline is going to come out. And if if those fans are doing that, watch for that stuff because if the fans yeah. are doing that already. Yeah. Like when they they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna load out an action figure with that they're gonna load out a Lego figure with that you know what I mean that's the stuff you gotta be on top of and there's gonna be a well, book coming out. Um, well, and here's part of what one of the things that I thought as a possibility. I'm not gonna say it is gonna happen. I'm not gonna say it's not. We all know everybody wants to see, and this goes on what you were saying earlier. We all know everybody's really interested in seeing Cad Bane. We know there's a appearance of. Boba Fett coming in Mando, they could really take and play with that storyline a little bit in that desert when they're when when Cad Bane and and Mando and all that, and they could because it's got that spaghetti western sort of feel, and yeah. they could take elements of that and push that into the Mandalorian and and rewrite a little bit of it, redo mm-hmm. a little bit of it, and kind of play that out with that Cad Bane well- and. Two's are two. Wait, hold on. Two is already in the can, right? Like, but what they could do, what they could do, is they could do an Obi Wan movie on a planet called Tatooine or a TV show. Yeah, 
yeah. never work. Yeah, it would never work. Yeah, <laughs> that might be that might be writ being written as we speak, even though everybody keeps thinking it's been stopped. It's never actually been started. They could do that already. And what they could have done in Mando, what they could do in the next Mando series is introduce a certain character who has Bubble Fett's army armor sure. in it, and then at the end preview kind of like a Boba play just to remind you that Boba is dead but around or whatever they want to do with sure. it and kind of do a cameo of it just like I think they'll do with Ahsoka and then in the Obi show that will come out eight months later you get a Cad Bane and a uh, showdown because Obi-Wan deals I mean he's going to have to deal with the Tusken Raiders right yeah and like the whole I mean, thing yeah. is about the Tusken Raiders I mean, so we're going to do that. I mean, who knows? Are we going to have, are we going to talk about a Jedi Tusken Raider? Maybe that's a different show. Maybe that's something else. But, um, well, you know, I hate sand. It gets everywhere. Right. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, dude. That's the worst line ever. I yeah. know. That's why I had oh. to drop it, man. I had to drop it. I live oh, in the desert. I had to I'm drop gonna, it. I'm going to hit, I'm going to hit you with another one. No. 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 <laughs> 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 but with with all that being said, I mean, I think that's where it's really going to go. I think everybody hears these things and you're like, oh, well, I heard a Boba Fett thing or Boba Fett's going to show up or, or Ahsoka's going to show up. Sure, but wh when are they coming out? You're telling me that, oh, Ahsoka's been cast, but the, the two's already in the bag and they're already writing three. You know what I mean? And if you want to yeah. go back and look at, I mean, and I, we can get into the Ahsoka thing sometime, but like, you know, if you look at certain people's Twitter following, if you look at her Twitter following, when she was talking about it, there's a video in April, which is well after that rumor came out, and she's crossing her fingers hoping that it becomes true. And she says something that I think is very capturing. If it happens, it's because of the fans. And this has been this isn't the first time it's been pushed, by the way, yeah. for Dawson. Like this is not the first thing that has. So I'm wondering if that actually is maybe and they can always listen, it's TV, you can always back edit this stuff. Mike, do you got something on that? I mean, you could always do a cameo there. I just I want to give my own personal fan apology to Ashley Eckstein. Yeah, but they might bring her back. Look, with this with this bad bad stuff, you don't. Wookie brought it up. You know, they might actually bring her back now. Which, like, I think we've talked about it on other ones when we were doing the Dave thing and mm -hmm. and, and talked about how we felt about Ashley and how they kind of did her dirty, but. Did they really do her dirty? Because like a lot of this stuff is like the echo thing is fan driven. All this stuff coming back now mm -hmm. is really fan driven. Mm -hmm. And yeah. they're just trying to and do that's, it right. That's more of the point that I was going with is, is with the new Mandalorian out there. And now they're bringing out the, the new um, Bad Batch or Scar or however they're going to bring that storyline forward. Um, so it's not going to be Scar. It's gonna, Scar and Bad Batch are two separate things. Scar right, right. And Bad Batch. Okay. Right. But however, they're going to play whatever they're do going to decide. They're going to save Yoda. Fully it's going to be Yoda's story. Um, yeah. And, and now, you know, we have the Obi-Wan talk. It, every Everyone's kind of called for, for Bane, I feel like, even though they called for Boba and Mando. And so... There's a lot of hint that we're going to see Boba. Um, oh, he's coming. I, don't, don't yeah, and, he and, is coming. It's just where is he going to come? It, so at the end of, end of every season of most shows, they do another like, oh, could be another special. So my whole, my whole crafting of, of man, who could the next one be? I mean, cause you got to go up a level. You got to, you got to bring in at least one or two more characters for, from this. Um, do you tie them together with, you know, to introduce either the, the Obi-Wan or it? So do you drop Cat Bane? Do you bring in Dengar? Do you bring in IG 88? Cause you already had IG 11. Do you, you know what I mean? What's, what's the number three? Because like you were talking earlier, that Cad Bane tie-in was right there. I could see them doing that with with this new run. We're gonna get episode uh, last episode, season two, Mandalorian hologram or holograph of Ahsoka hooded. Yeah, I would. Yeah, like the one that he puts up, like the one that he puts up on his Twitter page all the time. I would. Yep. I would not doubt that that would happen. I'd put money on that. I will also put money on this. You ask where it's gonna go. There. I think that they will do a show and it could be either animated or live action. It's going to be a bounty hunter show. I think they're going to cover sing in that show. What yeah. finally happened to her? Cause, oh, they that'd be good. Cause they have a lot of times where they like, they do this a lot where they mentioned something a couple ago. So like the Yoda, why I think Yoda showing up in the bad batch is because when's the last time we saw Yoda? 
the firing tree thing, you know, yeah. came up as the foes. So he's been gone for a couple of years now, and they love going back a couple of years and putting these guys in. They do. I mean, that's what they like yeah. to do. So yeah, I think absolutely. they're gonna put. I, I think they're gonna put Yoda into into the Bad Batch. I think they're gonna do the saving of Yoda and explain because they never really did explain how he got off. So they're gonna explain how he got off and maybe explain Dagobah because they have to fix Dagobah. They have to fix what they sure. did to that. Um, but that so that leads to all that that opens that up and opens up a whole bunch of other stuff there. Sure, sure. That's a whole nother. Uh, if but they do I, sing, if they do sing, if they yeah. do sing, then we get a little bit more Beckett potentially yep. from Solo. Which Solo was a good movie. They just released it at the wrong time, and yep. but then you get Maul gets pushed back into that because of that. But you also then get Ventress back, and yep. I, 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 I have a feeling like, and you get. Uh, good looking, like you get when she starts to like turn into like, <laughs> like the cre like the girlfriend that you see at the club, where you're like, oh, I know she's off, but like, <laughs> I don't care. Like that's the that's the ventures she she's off, right? but man, is yeah. she just <laughs> yeah. no no, like, she makes me like, all tangly. <laughs> original ventures you're like, oh, that that chick's she's just gone. She's off. I, my mind. But like. There's I a, love, you know what I'm I love about, Ventress. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Love Ventress. I'd love to see them tie in some more. So, so Ventress. There, so, so they do some cool stuff. They do some real cool stuff with Ventress later on. Like she all of a sudden gets yeah. like this punk haircut and hair, and, and becomes a bounty hunter. So yeah, she they does very because easily to bring her into, into a bounty Ventress. hunter story. And, uh, yeah, I mean, so it all yep. gets in there. Then you don't have to, you don't have to ruin the lore of of Bubba getting eaten by the Sarlacc Pit too, because you can still use him in all these backstories. There's a yep. story. In one of is it the Aaron run? It is either Vader down or the Aaron run where Boba Fett goes in and almost blows up Luke Skywalker on accident in a hut. In is it Obi Wan's hut? I, Something like that. I think so. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so that happens. So that happens already. So you've got a bunch of you've got them showing up. There's enough room. You know, we talk about it all the time, and we do like they do a real. The best Star Wars stuff is when they're not forcing it. When they're actually just telling like gaps that we know happen, sure. but we don't know how it happened. We know. Yoda got saved. We do not know how it happened. Well, guess what? Bad Batch is going to come out, so you introduce a new group. It's not so new, but it is a new group, and they're going to explain to us how Yoda got saved, and that is perfect. And then yep, that's that's just the right level of fan service. It fills in a gap of something we've questioned before, but doesn't give you so much that you're like, oh, anvil over the head. Like it, you need that that balance, um, which has been done great in the Mando so far. Yeah. And it's been done great by Filoni in Clone Wars and Rebels. And I think that continuing that model is the right way to go. I do too. And I think that's what it is. So yeah, if you ask, if you're asking where it's next, I think next after, you know, Ahsoka, obviously people are hot on that. Boba Fett, obviously people, but people have always been hot on Fett. Like yeah. the rumor of Fett's have been around forever, but I do, I think they're going to do Cad Bane. And then, you know what you, but you can even open that back up because once you do Cad Bane dying, and they've done this before, then you can go into the backstory of like, there's all those young years of um, Boba Fett when he's a kid. Sure, yeah, that, that has Sing. So yep. that goes back to Sing because Sing was there with all yep. that. Yeah, there's that little that set of kids novels that they did, um, well, which I actually read. I don't know if those have been uncanonized. Probably isn't but. there? Yeah, and I don't know if that's canon or continuity. I guess it could become canon um, when Fett and Aura Sing and. Two, two others, one or two others, and they have they started their Clone own Wars. little. Uh, yeah. What storyline is that? Why am I it's Clone Wars. Is it? Is it, Wars. Yeah, is it on the Clone Wars when they start their? Um, yeah, in in the cartoon. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. So there's, I mean, some, there's some there's some seeds of that in the kids novelization series mm -hmm. uh, because there's some tie in with Sing in there. Mm -hmm. um, maybe Bosk. I'm not sure who else is part of that. There, I can't okay, remember. So there is some. It, and that's like the boss play too. I, I think Bosk has really, especially with them bringing uh, bringing him into Clone Wars because they well the try his race they brought him in. It was a big part. It was a big arc in the Clone Wars where uh, Tana got stuck on the planet because they were hunting her and the other Padawans down. I don't know if you guys remember that, I but like it. yeah. So they want ever since then there has been like you know that's another one of those background characters that Dave likes to use. Um, and really get in depth and give you the new storylines with it. So I mean, that's it. I sure. think this is all leading up to a bounty hunters extravaganza, and everybody likes. Well, yeah, and bringing in the Bad Batch is just another element to pu help push that and tie the whole story. Yeah. I, I mean, we could really see 
with the with the new Bad Batch announcement, with Mando, with the Obi Wan, I could really see e multiple easy ways for them to tie this universe, you know, and continuity all back together, all sealed in a nice little bow and package of, I mean, you've got, you've got Dathomirs you can use. You've got other bounty hunters you can use. You've got, um, you know, the Ahsoka that you can bounce in between. So I, I think it's a really solid, you know, play for, for a new, a new show. Yeah, and if you if you start reading like if guys if you're out there and, and like you're, you're reading some of these comics and stuff and you're going through some of it, don't skip over the Star Wars adventure stuff, right? I know it seems kiddie, but don't. There's a lot of guys that they brought in there, including the bounty hunters, like uh, Low Four or whatever, and Four Low. Like they, Four Low. They've done a lot of stuff with those characters too, and and the they aren't bringing those characters in there just to throw in one off it. And that's where I really think that the bounty hunters are the big next thing. I think they've always been a been a been a way to go but i think this is where it's all culminating and if they do live action which i don't know how they do that because i think it'd be way too expensive i don't know mike his costume's got to cost a lot of money right to do that oh yeah. uh, they'd make a freaking fortune they you, would make you, money hand over fist if they yeah, did it live action and they actually i mean even if they green screened it would they'd lose a little if they green screened it versus costume in my opinion um, but I, I think that they would make more money than they have seen in a very, very long time. But this is the other thing. If you, if you watch the, the, what was the behind the scene thing called for Mando? I can't, whatever it was called. Yeah. The, uh, yeah, the, the, the gallery, Disney gallery. gallery. If yeah. You the, watch that and you, and you see, um, the guy from swingers. I yeah. remember the guy from, if, if you watch what he was saying, he was saying that from when he was shooting the other stuff for the green screen and all the others that because they can use the gaming technology, it has cut oh, down the price man. on that yeah. so much that yeah, they might that, be able to do this. And, and that was can, amazing how they did that. I had no idea they were yeah. shooting that way. And when I saw that, I was mind blown. That Me too. is ingenious. Even, even my wife was sitting there in her chair, like with her mouth open, like, yeah. Oh my God, that's how that. Wow. That's yeah, um, what a great way to save money for a TV show budget and still make it feel like a movie. Or you, know? you do, or because we don't know what's going to go on from now on with movie theaters and everything else. What happens if you do a movie release? I mean, what happens if you do a streaming movie release as soon as all those memberships are up? You, and yep. You've already gone through the Mando a couple times. You need to get the re ups on the next year's of subscriptions. Yeah, all of a sudden you have a bounty hunter special. It's oh, like man. a Christmas special Amazing. all over. Amazing, yeah, and absolutely. Do, it's it's like action. unwrapping a gift for Christmas, baby. The the ability to travel and go anywhere in the world, above ground, underground, planets, anywhere, and be yeah. able to film it the way that they film it is just mind blowing. I mean, that is, I can I can't even imagine if they had that technology for doing four, five, and six like originally envisioned. It, yeah, it, it would have been just amazing. Well, I, I don't want to mess around with those anymore. But uh, I, don't, I don't either. But it had it come out that way, very from the start. Just, but you see, I mean, and you see wow. some of the artwork. You've seen some of the artwork because uh, Mayo uh, in the comics, Mayo, he's done some of them before the one shots and everything else, and how he draws it. Like you can easily costume out a lot of that stuff. It, I don't know, man. If it was me, if you had to, if you had to have me guess, I think they're going to use. I think bounty hunters is something that's coming quick, so make sure you get on it. But like, I also think that you can get into other storylines with some of those characters out of Clone Wars because they love them so much, and some of the background characters that that Dave likes to use. And we've gone over some of those before. And we, we'll, and if you want us to, just throw us down some comments. We'll hit up some more. Um, man, this really went down the rabbit hole because it started about the difference between. <laughs> no, it's good uh, though. We'll, we'll get we'll get to all these topics eventually. Yeah. yeah I mean, and, and There'll be more shows. We'll have plenty more shows, plenty more content, plenty more rabbit holes that we dive into and, and talk about just like this. Yeah. Um, and maybe it, we'll it'll be up, great. And then, too, we'll give you some more, like, is the storyboards, you know, we, like we did in here, is the story, maybe read some arcs or something like that, or, or where some of these appearances come up. or. Yeah. Cause like I think Cad Bane is a recent one too, because that's a Darth Maul book. Like that was like the what was it seventeen yeah. Darth Maul series that came up yeah. in there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it doesn't have a lot to do with it, but like at least we know how he died. I mean, we don't know how it dies because it's not canon yet. 
Sorry if I spoiled that for you. Uh, well, come on, there was ten thousand people in that room. That I'm sure we're not the first one to tell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, and on that, and on that spoiler note, yeah. Um, yeah. Thanks. Give us questions. Bring them on. Um, we love your questions. We'd like to, and it gives us stuff to research and give you guys some more information. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, we're definitely gonna write it down there at the bottom, throw it in there, and like I said before, if if it's really it's kind of going to work the same way with uh, with uh, the collectibles thing. Um, yep. Eventually, we might do like a, a live stream and maybe have a couple of you guys on and ask. Not sure how that's going to work yet. Uh, we're, we're working with some people trying to figure some things out. If nothing else, we'll at least get to some of your questions about stuff. We'll probably go down a bunch of more rabbit holes. This is the rabbit hole show. I mean, we should probably <laughs> just change it from, from a certain point of view to the rabbit hole show. Yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. and that's it, guys. That's all I got. Uh for smash that uh, like button and uh, force choke that subscribe, saber smash the you know what out of that bell so you can be alerted every time these beautiful faces are on your computer and come back and see us again. <laughs>